if you would like to take pottery class, Sunville Community Center Pottery Studio is one of the top choice. Okay, um, I'm going to do another demo for using the uh, tube inserted inside my cylinder. And then I will use that uh, roller texture to roll the texture on the surface of the clay. Okay, so first I will uh, roll the cylinder that is the same in the size to the uh, cardboard. Center my piece first. My way of uh, center is a little bit different from uh, other people. Other people is going push up sky high and then push down. Uh, I don't usually do that. I'm just uh, bring the clay on the outside and bring it down to the bottom. So you don't see my clay is going very tall while I'm centering. Okay, so whole piece is centered. Now I'm ready to open the hole. And always you want to make sure that the surface is slip enough, slippery enough. Right, so you see that I constantly add water to the surface, all the slip to the surface. And this step is opening, it's also a very important step other than the uh, centering because if you dig it in um, without compressing the wall, your wall is going to be uh, uneven. And maybe one side thicker and one side thinner. That way, it's going to very be very hard for you to lift your wall. So uh, this opening process is important. And what I do is, while I'm opening, I'm still compressing the wall. You see that I have my thumb hanging on the outside of the wall while I'm digging. So keep on going until I would say about uh, uh, half, maybe a three eighth of an inch, or between three eighth of an inch of uh, an or half inch for the bottom thickness, and then uh, I open up so that the floor is flat. The inside of the floor is flat, and. Uh, I usually compress a couple times to make sure that bottom is compressed so that I don't get a crack. Compress a couple times. Right. Um, after I compress, I, if you want to throw your pot taller, uh, usually I don't have opening this wide. I usually uh, uh, make the cylinder, I call it in so that the, s the opening is smaller. That way, I will be able to get my cylinder taller. So, after I open it, I usually call it in. And before I go further, I usually get enough slippery on the first surface. And I get to uh, remove the slip from my fingers and put it back to work. Alright, and this time I am just compressing from the inside. Actually, my hand on this inside is doing the lifting. 
and the outside is just supporting and using this part to support it and then my inside hand is going and lifting the wall uh, I am making a uh, texture vase that I will throw a uh, cylinder first um, you will see that So now I'm actually doing the lifting from the outside. Again, put the slip back to work. Let's uh, use, you can see that if you are using slip a lot then you don't have much water weight to waste because the water is not going to stick on the wall it's just go down and go to the splash pan with the slip you will be able to coat it on the surface and keep on bringing the wall a bit smaller narrower Now I'm using my wife's what iPhone. She's shooting the video for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the resolution is pretty good, then, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, iPhone six plus, mm -hmm. and uh, I I'm using the uh, app. It's called i iMovie. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to use, mm -hmm. and the result is is good. Mm -hmm. And I can show like slow motion or fast forward motion. Mm -hmm. So make a cylinder and then it's similar to this size. Okay. So now let me see. Can you drop it in. See that drop in there. The reason why I'm using the cardboard cylinder is when you're using the roller, uh, if you don't have a good support, you want to roll deep enough. That's why uh, I drop in, I make a cylinder that is similar to the size to this and I'm going to uh, compress so that it's fitting right on the cylinder and then I will use the uh, roller to roll the texture. And after that I will remove the cardboard and then I will expand it so I will have very really nice texture deep, that is deep enough. Yes, 
clay is fitting quite well on the uh, cylinder. And then you don't want the uh, throwing mark to bother your texture, so I'm using a wooden rip to remove my throwing mark. Uh, some people do find that when they are using the uh, wooden rib on the bottom, they will drag some lines there. Uh, if you want to avoid it, actually when you're holding your rib, you don't hold it straight. You can go sideways landed. So you're basically using the middle part. Okay. So when you are going up, you go, you hold your uh, rip a little bit sideways so that you don't drag that line on the bottom. Okay. That's one of the, uh, the the tip that I want to show you from my experience. And for a better result without uh, the uh, slip stick it back to my roller, uh, I usually like to remove most the most of the slip possible. And also, again, when you are using the metal rib tube, if you hold it like this way, you always end up with dragging some lines from the bottom corner. So if you kind of bend your rib a little bit, so it's a bit of a curve there, so then you don't drag the lines. That's one other uh, tip that I'm showing you. and try to remove the slip because this slip is a little bit, uh, a little bit wet so later on you might go stick on the inside my uh, texture so I try to remove as most as I can um, uh, people might ask why don't you use a, a dryer or blower to dry the surface well uh, you could do that, but uh, there's a t t disadvantage of it is you borrow too dry then the whole cylinder shrink and it's going to be very tight and later on it's very hard for you to pull it out. So that's uh, one other uh, that I don't, wouldn't consider using the dryer to dry it. So I'm going to remove the uh, little bit clay. This is a little bit too, uh, too much slip there. I trim it off. Right. So this is the uh, rotor with the texture. Um, I'm going from the bottom, uh, squeeze it up to the top, so you will see that because of the uh, support on the inside, so I would be able to draw my texture deep enough.
Right, so I got the uh, whole uh, texture printed on the uh, surface. Uh, the reason why I don't do it uh, vertic uh, I do it vertically instead of horizontally is because I couldn't find it where to end the match. So it's hard to get a match. So that's why I uh, do it vertically. Alright, so now see that it's a little bit tight. If I use the, the hair dryer or heat gun to blow dry, it's gonna be awfully hard for me to pour out my cylinder. Show you the trick why I could pull it out easier because I have a double layer of newspaper. See that one layer of newspaper, get out, and then another layer of the newspaper. I just go there on the inside and try to roll it. That's the trick of uh, pour it out easier. You want to use um, at least double layer or maybe three layers of a newspaper. That way it will be easier for you to pour out. Okay. So now it's the part that the step that you want to have a steady hand. Your hand steady and you want to slowly blow up, expand it. And to be able to do that, uh, make sure the inside is nice and slippery uh, because the newspaper is absorbing all the water and slip, so it's not slippery. So I would get some slip from the, uh, my throwing. I put it back to work, so I will need to coat it back on. And maybe you can use a wet sponge to get some water too. It should be very uh, slippery while you're doing it. Otherwise, you want to get a nice blow up, a nice foam. Okay, and even my arm here that is touching the side, I will make sure that it's slippery. Right, so now. I'm just pushing without touching because I already have the texture there. I don't want to mess up. So just use my hand inside to push out the wall slowly, but very steady and consistently. So basically, uh, if you watch my hand here, this is the fingers that without any clay, that's where it touches the surface on the inside. So my hand is on the inside and slowly bring out, bring out the wall. So I tend to leave my rim a bit thicker, so later on I will be able to do something to maybe a close up, uh, make it narrow, or maybe bring it a little bit higher. So I like to show you my trick of uh, 
making the foam looks nicer. It's when you expand it, your view, your eyesight is not look at right there in front of you. You want to go further that is, you see the cast, the cast curve there so that you see if the curve is not enough, you apply more pressure to blow it out. So not eyesight is not look at right here. My eyesight go further here, okay, farther here. My class is on Wednesday morning from, uh, from 10 to 1 Wednesday morning.
Cut the foot. So the foot uh, smaller, the more elegant it looks. The uh, wider foot looks heavy. That's it.